the G5 Pro is, it reminds me so much of the T4K, the Gamester T4K. DJ Cow. <laughs> These controller games, man, they're like, they're so memeable. <laughs> The Mike and I G5 Pro. Um, best things first. We're going to start with the best. I really like these face buttons. I think they might be my favorite. Razor. It's like head to head with Razor. I feel like what they were trying to do with the T4K was... This is a better version of that, I think. A better version of that. I really like the T4K. I like what it's doing, but I think this is better. Um, Actually, we're going to go in between. So I see that you are seeing the bumpers. The, not the bumpers, but the back buttons. These, oh man, these are the most confusing back buttons for me. Because they're placed in a decent, pretty decent spot. Now, this controller is a little big, but for some people, it's probably small as heck. But this controller, it's it's more wide, and it widens out quite a bit. I think if they would have just, I need to take a file and just file it down and smooth it out. Because this could be perfect. But the thing about the back buttons is they are so hard to actuate. And it's funny because I had that newness feeling that like, oh, this is one of the best controllers I've ever played on. And then I'm, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks later, I'm like, yeah, these back buttons are they're a little hard to trigger. The Hall Effect sticks, these Hall Effect sticks. So frame of reference, my first Hall Effect stick controller was the T4K. And I was like, these are smooth and they're just smooth in gameplay too. I knew about the no drift thing, but I still don't know as much, but I I know more now. But these sticks, T4K was the first. These sticks were, no, the King Kong 2 or the Zen Pro. They were my second. And I liked those a lot more, but they went too far in the other direction. Those are so sensitive. Even on the lowest sensitivity, they are so sensitive. It ruined my aim in COD. Just ruined it. I, had, I went from a 13 sensitivity to a 4. To start feeling like good about it. Decent about it. it, it I love that Zen Pro King Kong controller. Correct me if they, they're actually different at all. In function, but uh, th these the Masha Nike G5 Pro, these are the best Hall Effect sticks almost, that I've tried out. But I like these quite a bit. I played with a control freak on the right cap, one of their newer ones, it was looking pretty aesthetic. The triggers triggers are about the medium tier. They feel really cool. I really like the design, uh, the, the shape of them. The resistance is a little much for how wide this controller is that I was talking about because I feel myself almost barely like reaching to like the end of it. But I still think these triggers are pretty all right. Now it would be awesome if they put some trigger stops, trigger locks, whatever you want to call it. But they're nice for what they are. The bumpers, it's so weird. The bumpers, I feel like membrane-wise, would work great on a face pad, on a, uh, the face buttons. These these right bumper, left bumper would work great for face buttons, but for actual bumpers, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. This D-pad. This D-pad is one of my, if not my favorite D-pad I've ever played on. And that's saying something. There's a certain uh, large controller 
reviewer out there and he hated this d-pad and i don't get why other than it's small but i love that about it this thing feels good i played a little street fighter 6 with it and i was doing okay for once this controller didn't make me any better but you know it made me feel like i was playing better for sure uh the accessory buttons they actually, uh, the way they feel is pretty nice, actually, and I've been playing a lot of Starfield, and there's so much inventory management in that game. I was pressing start, and I was pressing select, and I was pressing all those multiple times within each other. Like, you press start once, then you got to, you got to go to this menu. You press start again, you got to go to this menu. It's like, uh, I guess we're going to segue into the Starfield miniature review before this wraps up. <clears throat> so... Excuse me. Got it. Starfield is one of the games of all time. No, I, Starfield is everything I kind of wanted in the realm of not thinking too much into it or about it before release. I love the systems at play. I love... I wish there was more world building for sure, but I like what's there. The shooting mechanics are, I'm going to leave it at this. The shooting mechanics are beyond what I thought they were going to be in that they're, they're definitely not COD, Halo or anything first person, only Doom, of course, but they are, they're, they're better than I thought they were going to be. Because I did not think Fallout 4's... When Fallout 4 came out, because there's games that feel better than COD did back then. In the sense of just shooting the gun. But... Oh, we're running past time. So basically, the shooting mechanics in Starfield... I mean, it's really just point and click. Aim and shoot, aim and trigger. But it works for what it is better than that actually and i really really liked that there's a lot more i gotta say about starfield um some key things i adore about the game and some things that they need to work on that can they can do with updates and things that will never be solved except through mods but that's all. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.